Tense, a hewn his ni hausen maskigi maskwa. In my language, that translates to "Hello, my name is Medicine Bear." It's uh, in the Nihiawak language, which is known as Cree. Um, I wanted to make this video to introduce myself uh, for my YouTube channel, and to the YouTube channel is going to be revolved around uh, jewelry making. Uh, by no means do I consider myself a jeweler. Um, I started off my art career 14 years ago um, under the um, under an apprenticeship with uh, Guy Estes is his name, and he hails from the Squamish and Nochanalth Nation, and we mostly worked in Nochanalth and Kwakwakiwak style designs. He also does have a Kwakwakiwak bloodline, um, and I first started off carving wood. And then from wood, I transitioned to jewelry. At the time, I was working with a legendary master carver, Norman Tate. And he had shared with me, he's like, you better start carving jewelry or you're going to starve. Uh, you're too slow of a wood carver. So he convinced me to start doing jewelry. Um, I went to the Northwest. Well, I, I was accepted into the, the Northwest Coast Jewelry Arts Program at the Vancouver um, Native Education College in Vancouver. And... I didn't finish the class. Um, I was, I believe, a bit too old to be going to school, but also I did not get along with the teacher. So I ended up dropping out of the class and I continued to work with Norman Tate. Um, I started purchasing some jewelry tools. And then I don't want to get into that story, but the school called me towards the end of the year and they said, look, we have um, your tools. You can come and pick them up. Uh, and so that was super amazing because I don't think I would have ever been able to get the collection of tools started that I, the, uh, the start of my jewelry tools. And today I've worked really hard. I've worked for the last 11 years doing jewelry and saving and saving and amassing my, um, building my studio. As you can see, this piece here is spectacular. Um, it is, uh, a Leica. I should go like this and turn this light on. Is that better or is that worse? This is the Leica A60 with the Acrobat GRS stand. It's a spectacular system. So anyways, I just wanted to make an introductory video. Oh, that's what I forgot. What ended up happening is the video, huh, for some reason, shut off and deleted. Which I hope this does not happen this time. But um, I introduced myself where I'm from, but... The way I got introduced into the art world was through my mother. Her name was Half Moon Woman. She's uh, a very well-known First Nations artist. She's a practitioner, one of the few that does the ancient art of birch bark biting. And if you don't know what it is, well, Google birch bark biting and Half Moon Woman. And you will see her beautiful artwork. So she was the one who introduced me to uh, Gaia Stis, And that is where I first started my, uh, my career as an artist. So, um, like I said, this is an introductory video. Thank you for um, watching my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, share with your friends. We're going to be doing updates of different, um, just in the studio and showing some different techniques that we use.